Hey guys, and welcome to this Gatsby Head API tutorial. This is going to be a really quick tutorial where we're going to go over the new Gatsby Head API introduced in Gatsby version 4.19.0. Now, admittedly, the title of this video is very clickbaity because I think the Gatsby Head API has only been available for like a week. So I imagine a lot of you are not using it yet or certainly not replacing React Helmet with it yet. However, this is a very welcome addition to Gatsby. Next.js has something very similar, and it just means we don't have to use the React Helmet plugin, which I don't know about you, always felt a bit clunky to me. However, with that said, let's go over the Gatsby head API. I've already got a Gatsby project, an example Gatsby project, bare bones one, up and running. I'm gonna be basing my data here off a demo Dato CMS site I've got. However, that's not important. The important thing is I'm just going to show you some GraphQL queries and how we use the head API and set our title and description and any other SEO meta tags you might want to set. We're going to set those using the Gatsby head API. So I've already run Gatsby develop and I just want to quickly show you the GraphQL query we're going to be using. So I've got my all data CMS page and I'm going to query for the SEO title and description. So I'm gonna hit play on this and I have three pages. So we're gonna generate three pages and we're gonna set the meta, the description meta tag to SEO description and set the title to SEO.title. So very, very simple tutorial and you're gonna see how easy it is to update these meta tags using the Gatsby head API rather than using React Helmet. So if we go to our code then in source, and pages, let's create a new file. And we want to use the file system API for this. So we're going to open up a set of curly braces and type Dato CMS page, because this is the GraphQL type I want to generate my page from, dot slug, dot JS. So in here then, I'm just gonna copy everything from index.js, paste it in there. And you can see already that index.js already has a head function exported from it. Now this is part of the Gatsby head API. Quickly before we start talking about the Gatsby head API though, I'm just gonna change this index page to generic page. I'm gonna gut it all out. So I'm just gonna have a main tag in here because we're not actually gonna render anything, any data. We just wanna see the meta tags rendering correctly. So instead of index page there, generic page, let's get rid of all these styles. So you have a nice clean file there. So if we save this now, if we go back to our GraphQL query, I'm already querying for the slug here, so I should have my homepage overwritten because the slug for the homepage is index. I should have a docs and I should have a contact us page. So if I go to localhost 8000 then, and we go to our console or inspect our elements, we can see we have the title here set to homepage. Now this is because in here, in our Gatsby CMS page.slug, we're setting the title within the head export as homepage. If I change this to homepage two, save that, and we can see this changed in real time here, homepage two. But we want to set it on actual data for the data that's coming back from our external data. In my case, it's data CMS. So first of all then, I want to console log the props that I have on generic page. So let's console log the props. Let's take a look in the console down here. We can see we have page context.id. So we wanna access then the particular page with this ID from our Dato CMS. So we wanna export a const query, set that equal to GraphQL, which is imported from Gatsby. Set of back ticks here, and we want to add query, page query, and the page query is gonna accept an ID of type string. Then we just wanna query for the Dato CMS page whose ID is equal to the particular ID for this particular page. Then we want to query for SEO, title and description. So if we save that and take a look in the browser now, if we already check here, we're already console logging the props from generic page. So we can see here we've got, now we've got data, data CMS page, SEO, title, and description. So we want to use these then within the exported head function here. 
So it's really easy to do. We just need to destructure because Gatsby is going to automatically populate our page context and data. It's going to automatically pass it in to for us to use in this head function. So we have data and page context. So let's tidy this up a little. Let's return the title homepage to there and let's console log now from head the data and page context. Let's see what we've got in our console. If we give that a refresh, we can see from head here, we have data CMS page, SEO, description and title. So that's been passed in from the result of our GraphQL query. So all we need to do then is just return a React fragment here. We want to, instead of hard coding this homepage to, let's render data.datocmspage.seo.title and let's add a meta tag here as well. We want it to be the description meta tag. So let's add name equals description and the content will be data.datocmspage.seo.description. So if we save this now and take a look in the browser, we can see our title has already updated. This is the homepage title. If we take a look in head, we should be able to see we've got our title and our meta description. So this is the homepage description. This is the homepage title. We also have pages at slash docs. So again, if we look at the head, we can see this is the docs page title, the meta description, this is the docs page description. The last one then we have a third page called contact us and exactly the same here. Our title has been updated. This is the contact us page title and the meta description. This is the contact us page description. So as you can see, it's a lot cleaner to do it this way compared to React Helmet. Now, if you wanted to make this a bit more generic, you could create an SEO component where you just pass in the title and description and then it would generate those meta tags for you. So instead of having for, let's say you've got a bunch of different page templates and things here, instead of having to rewrite this all the time, you just have a SEO component which will take care of that for you. So all you're really doing is making this markup generic. So I hope you liked this really quick tutorial on the Gatsby head API. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you want to see similar videos to this. And let me know as well in the comments, do you prefer this way of setting the title and metadata or do you prefer using React Helmet? So let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.